Norris Geyser Basin is one of the only major thermal basins located outside of Yellowstone Caldera. It is about 4 kilometers, 2.5 miles, north of the Caldera Rim and covers an area of over 3 million square meters, about 800 acres. It is located in a structural basin created by the intersection of north-south trending faults called the Norris Mammoth Corridor with the northeast trending Hebgen Lake Fault System. Norris is underlain by welded Lava Creek Tuff from the eruption that formed Yellowstone Caldera. On top of the tuff are glacial sediments, sinter, and hydrothermal explosion breccias. Norris Geyser Basin discharges on average 150 to 250 liters of water per second and is effectively a closed thermal basin system where all thermal features are drained by Tantalus Creek a tributary of the Gibbon River that is composed almost entirely of geothermal water. Two sub-basins of Norris Geyser Basin, Porcelain and Back Basins are open to the public, with trails and boardwalks that meander through iconic features like the tallest active geyser in the world, Steamboat Geyser. However, two other sub-basins, the Gap and 100 Spring Plain, do not have public access. One Hundred Spring Plain is a flat, sandy plain that exhibits features with a wide variety of water chemistry, including some of the most unique features in Yellowstone National Park, i.e. acidic mud pots, neutral chloride sinter, depositing features, sulfate-dominated waters with spherules, and sulfur-precipitating springs. Cinder pool is one of the strangest features due to the odd, dark-colored, frothy cinders that float on the surface of the pool. This oddity has fascinated scientists for over a century, and investigations revealed that the cinders are composed of sulfur that looks black due to tiny grains of pyrite. The cinders formed from a deposit of molten sulfur at least 20 meters, 66 feet, deep in the plumbing system of the acidic pool. Gas bubbling through the molten sulfur carries some of it towards the surface, where lower temperatures quench the sulfur to form the pumice-like textured cinders at the surface of the pool. In 2019, however, the cinders that characterized the pool disappeared, perhaps due to consumption of the sulfur deposit in the subsurface. <laughs>